Hey everyone, CNC Keith here. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was asked on the forum of how exactly this part counter and part number um, works here and how to make use of that. So what I've done is I've written a little program here and all it does is move a tenth of an inch in the X and then move back to zero. I'm going to go ahead and hit cycle start and run that job right now. And you can see every time that I'm hitting cycle start and running that job, when it completes it, it, it increments up the number of times that I've run this job. So once you load a program, CNC 12 keeps track of how many times that program has run in this particular instance. So um, now maybe there's an application where I would want this program to just continuously run over and over and over again. And rather than me sitting here hitting the cycle start to have it do this a hundred times, you can go into the run screen and you can turn repeat on, job repeat on. And over here in the part counter menu, I can type in the number of times that I want it to run the program. So once I do that, uh, you see the part count change to 10 and the part number reset to zero. And if I hit cycle start now, uh, unattended, it will run that particular G code program 10 times. And you see that it's uh, counting up while it reaches that goal of running it 10 times. So there we go, it just ran it 10 times. Uh, I could go back to the run menu and uh, you know, increase that to 100 times, enter, and you can see it reset it to zero and then 100. And the way we go, it's running 100 times unattended. That's how you use those two features.